Hey there YouTubers, uh, gonna do a ramble video. I sat down here and was doing a video on um, my four months in Key West and dry camping and keeping the pets cool and all that kind of stuff. And when I got doing that video I realized I got like way off track and sidetracked because my rambles oftentimes don't always make a lot of sense. So because of that, I ended up talking about stuff that wasn't really on topic with, with that. So you may see some video clips and this of me wearing a different shirt. <laughs> so I've been back for a while, uh, less than a month. I, I, hell, I don't know, I've lost track. Um, already got my next trip planned. So it's going to be more uh, camping, camping and less going out to restaurants and stuff like that. A little bit more... Uh, secluded a little bit more camping you know as opposed to the the last far too many videos and to be honest I know I have a few people that watch a lot of my stuff there have been many times with all these videos that I was like all right uh, enough I'm not editing and posting any more of these and then you do one more and you get a comment in it that says oh thanks this was my favorite one and you're like I wasn't even gonna post that one so it's, it's kind of like a, a never-ending cycle. You get to the point where you're like, all right, I'm done doing this series. But then you get that comment, and you're like, all right, I'll do one more. Because I was down there like four months. Almost every night, I had to go watch the sunset at a few different locations. Most often, it was more the secluded place that I found that I really liked. And... I just like sunsets, so I keep making all these sunset videos. But when I would go out wandering, you know, the GoPro was usually in in my bag or on the bike or on the scooter until the cop made me not ride it. <laughs> and I had the cell phone, so a lot of times it it was like, oh, that's cool. Let me do a minute of video on that and then go back to exploring. And, you know, you get to the end of the day and you're like, holy crap. I, I made a lot of videos of usually nothing, and I'm glad that some people like them, but even when I watch them myself, I'm like, you judge yourself. It's like, what am I doing? You also see here that my hair doesn't look terrible, and when you see the next video, it's going to be all like it here. I didn't get it cut. I just got it tucked up in my hat. I learned down there in Key West once it got this long that... Sometimes I, I was making people nervous, like, what is up with this guy? So if I tuck it up under my hat, maybe I look a little less whatever. <laughs> and you also notice, I'm usually not on camera. If I'm going to do a video on how I do my videos, but I obviously don't like to be on camera all that much, especially when this is what I'm calling my uh, Einstein's idiot cousin look. I think I'm at five months without a haircut, and if I was to take this hat off, <laughs> it's even more embarrassing. I've been getting a lot of pressure to get a haircut from a lot of people around here, but it's my hair. I'm going to do what I want to do. I had a computer problem down there. It kind of died on me. I was I was doing a good job getting to clunk along, but uh, since I've gotten back, I bought a new laptop. I did something I thought was clever. Um, when my laptop was giving me such a hard time, I was taking my video cards, my SD cards, and my external hard drive and I was going to a store where they sell laptops and I was using their laptop to copy my stuff onto the hard drive. So uh, if you've watched many of my videos too, you've seen that I've made way too many and I actually have still more that I'm contemplating whether or not I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload all of them. But I was down there for four months and I had a really good time and there's so much to share. So almost every day I went and did something so usually I would I would film if I went for a meal somewhere I would I would do that and there's just a lot of stuff that catches your eye so you end up filming too much stuff. So maybe I'll find that clip where the RV's pretty much all unloaded and taken in the house to be cleaned and gone through and clean the RV getting ready for this next trip. Um, it, it was amazing how much stuff I took that I never used and I was there four months and I'm in a class B so it's it you don't need as much crap as you think you do and I always take too much because I am NOT a minimalist after four months of living in a small class B like this it's time to clean it out so that's what we're gonna do
I got more to do. Okay, okay, you get the idea. A lot of stuff, a lot of trips to unload it. Now, if, you, uh, if you've watched many of these videos, you see that I didn't really do any boondocking, stealth camping kind of videos. But um, there's, if you search for it, there's a lot of people that done it. I know um, Howie Roll was down there. If you go to his channel, he was doing it for months down there. And he did pretty good videos on the pros and cons, you know. It's doable, but you got to be prepared to be messed with with cops. By cops. And... You know, a lot of people ask that because Key West is odd because there's a lot of money down there. It's a very expensive place. So t sometimes you get the feeling that they're trying to keep the riffraff, which I would like to hope I don't fall into that category, but most people with money would put me in that category, I guess. But um, the whole argument about stealth camping down there, it's... It's a tough thing to do. I don't know if I said before, the cops, they got a tough job. I don't try just to slam cops. You know, a lot of times the society has made rules and asked these people to enforce it. But um, sometimes they're just dicks. But then again, they're dealing in a place where so many people are drunk and unreasonable. And then you have rules that are put in place for the betterment of everybody that some people don't want to listen to. It's that it's that whole argument about stealth camping. If a cop comes bother you, don't fight and argue with them. Just defuse the situation and move on. But they don't always make that easy to do, too. It's a two-way street. But um, I've said before, with, with me having the two cats, I don't think Key West is someplace I could ever, I could ever stealth camp. I'd need a place. And the I showed a video. There are things that people do down there. I just, I don't have a lot of knowledge about it. I, I saw some people stealthing. It's the kind of thing where not everybody wants to give away their secrets. And I'm not one that wants to try to steal their secrets. They're living that challenge with dealing with cops and all that kind of stuff. So it's not, there are not a lot of people that are overly willing to share how they're doing it. But again, if you check out Howie Roll's channel, I think he gave a lot of good information on it. It's just, it's something that's not always easy to do. Um, but there's going to be more video. I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to start the whole trip back north from the Keys. And I had good times north of the Keys. And we'll get those uploaded and shared. Some good driving stuff, I think. Sometimes I just sit here and wonder if a thought will pop into my head. And that's how my rambles go. That's why I, I start a ramble and I'm like, eh, you're not even... I didn't say the shit I meant to say. Ooh. Hi, Eddie. You got a bee in here. I got to take care of this bee. All right, let's hope I don't get stung. I got him. Can you see him? He's in there. I didn't kill him. Free! Free! Be free! But since I got back, I think one of the funniest parts is the cats, like four months of me being in this, you know, 19, 20 foot RV, that when they got back in the house, they were kind of confused at first. And then for like three or four days, they were following me everywhere. Like, they had to keep me in their sight because they got so used to, when they did see me, that I was right there. And it was kind of funny. I think now they're, they're relatively back to normal, as normal as they can get. So, another off-topic ramble. Um, more videos to come. For those of you that like them, I'm glad you like them. For those of you that are like, I'm going to stop watching this guy's channel, I get that too because... I'm self-aware enough to know that there's probably far too many videos. But again, I post what I like and hopefully some people enjoy it. If, if one of the videos I wasn't going to post helps somebody in some little tiny way think they can do this or just give them an idea of something they would like to do, either 
exactly related to Key West or stirred a memory that gave them a happy memory or gave them an idea of someplace else they'd like to go, then that's why I do these. Um, that's my hope. That's my goal with doing these. Nothing more than that. All right. Have a great and wonderful day. And let's cross our fingers that this made some kind of sense.